Tyler Perry's Love Thy Neighbor is a wonderfully fresh show of a middle class family and their daily joys, their struggles, their triumphs and fumbles. I think that we all struggle with sometime. But Love Thy Neighbor is here to help with some comedic relief. And joining us now is one of the stars of the show, Palmer Williams Jr. Uh, from OWN. Good morning. Set us up with good this morning, project. Good morning, Stephanie. How are you? Good, good. We're excited to uh, have you on the show and hear about this new project. Uh, set us up with the plot of the show. I hear it's very funny. Well, you know, you have Hattie Mae Love, who's the owner of the diner, and I uh, playing Floyd, uh, her brother-in-law, and we're supposed to be partners in this diner, which we're starting to see my percentages diminishing as the seasons go on. But it's uh, a very, very crazy collection of characters, a gumbo, if you will, of where we have her daughter living with her and also having a dilemma of trying to figure out who she wants to date, trying to get her, her life together, as well as being an influence over her adult son who's like a mama's boy. And it all comes together, not only at Hattie's house, but in the various apartments of the other characters, as well as in the diner. And when we all get in the diner, that's usually when all heck breaks loose. But it's a, a very, very funny heck that's breaking loose. So I mean, this show, it, it has so many different uh, uh, variables and, you know, the comedic punches come from everyone. So, you know, you don't know what to expect, you know, from Sam's character to Danny's character, to Drew's character in the office there and in the, in the different uh, apartments or in the diner or at Hattie's house. It all comes down to where something at Hattie either gives us tough love about or something she's done. So we, we have a lot of fun, though, going back and forth with it. And Palmer, you mentioned it there with uh, this cast of people. I don't know how you do it because I, I don't think I'd be able to get through a line without laughing. You guys look like you have so much fun together. Well, we do. We definitely do. We do a lot of drugs and prayer. No, I'm sorry. No, no. Actually, uh, we, 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 we have a lot of fun because everybody is very eager. Everybody is very passionate about what they bring to the table. And with that, you know, it, it, it causes us to want to work harder. You know, Mr. Perry has taken care of us on, on, on one end, and, and Miss, Miss Oprah Winfrey. I mean, you know, you're working for two of uh, entertainment's uh, 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 largest moguls in the business and everything. So we, we want to make sure that we, we keep them happy, but at the same time, we're, we're earning a living, and we're doing it with something that we're very passionate and that we are having a lot of fun with. So it, it's, it, it works out. You know, we spend time with one another, even off screen, to where we can actually have that camaraderie. So. When we try to play a family on, on TV, you really don't realize that we actually become a family during rehearsals and, and going out and, 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 and hanging out with each other. And sometimes we even sleep over uh, uh, one another's houses in order to do the lines. And, and uh, that didn't sound good after the drug line, huh? But uh, we do the, uh, the, the lines on the <laughs> script together. And then uh, we come in and, and, you know, Mr. Perry's like, wow. This cast, you know, really brings a lot of life, and we have a lot of fun. And, and if we keep him laughing, then we know we're doing a good thing. Well, I mean, I want to come work with you. You've already got me laughing this morning. Oh, it, it's, it's hilarious. <laughs> uh, would you I'm say sorry, that, one more time. Would you say that this is relatable? I think you, you address some of the families, that uh, the issues a lot of families struggle with. Is that something that you're trying to shed light on and, and kind of teach the lesson of, of maybe just don't sweat the small stuff? Right. Well, it definitely is relatable. You know, a lot of people didn't know they were dysfunctional until they had that title. So now that you have this title, it's like, oh, wow, something's wrong with me. No, we've been dysfunctional for a long time, but we were able to function while we were dysfunctional, you know, according to the, the, the definition. But it's very relatable because Linda is going through a dilemma with her, her dating, uh, especially being an adult woman who has an adult son, and she has some things about herself you know, some insecurities and things like that. There are a lot of beautiful women out there that don't know that they're beautiful, and they refuse to hear that they're beautiful. So Linda has to be told this in order to break the damage that she may have suffered from some other man that may have had his own little, uh, uh, I guess, uh, ways in which he wanted to beat the woman down verbally. So now we have to build her back up and build her self-esteem back up to where she actually believes that she can be loved. But first, she has to love herself. And that's, I think during this season, we're trying to, you know, really, really uh, show her that she is loved. And therefore, she can love someone else once you learn how to love yourself. So with that dating dilemma that she's having, she's torn between two lovers, so to speak. But uh, believe me, you want to stay tuned every week because something's going to jump off crazy every week, especially with Linda. But then, you know, we're all going to be doing something crazy as well, especially when they get advice from me. I wouldn't take advice from me if I was them as far as Floyd is concerned.
<laughs> All right. Well, if you want to tune in for some life lessons, a few good laughs, maybe even some get invited to some sleepovers, when and where? We're can definitely we see going you? to be on Wednesday, <laughs> June the 25th, and that's 9 p.m. Eastern Time, Pacific Time on OWN, O W N, the Oprah Winfrey Network. Can you believe it? The Oprah Winfrey Network and having Mr. Tyler Perry as a boss. Come on now. <laughs> You've got to watch this. You know. <laughs> All right. Well, it's a you match know? made in heaven. Exactly. It's a match. It's, it's, it's a match made in my account. I mean, uh, um, in my heart. You I are. Thank God for that. You are fabulous. Thank you so much for taking uh, time to chat with us. Thank this you so morning. much, Stephanie. I like the little outfit there. What's going on with that? What well, you doing? Well, you thank, right? well, thank you. Okay. Every day, though, it's a show about uh, food, fashion, and uh, entertainment, of course. So you. you <laughs> thank you. Right on. Right on. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Steph. We're going to have more on Love Thy Neighbor on our website. Just go to fox4morningblend.com. And I love him. How fun. All right. Want to read a good ebook, but don't want to spend a lot of money? Up next, so you can check out your favorite books and movies from your local library for free. Stay with us.